going on guys welcome back to a great day today i'm gonna be installing some rock lights on the ford bronco i just got these yesterday actually last night late and i'm gonna try to install these today as soon as i can because actually i'm going on a road trip to colorado from texas which is about 16 hour drive for me so i'm gonna try to install these as soon as as fast as i can anyways i got stuff out of the box uh it does come with everything it's, the harness is basically already ready to go it's just about a matter of running the lights and getting some power and ground to the harness you do have a nice uh, switch and it does have two different modes so you can go with clear and amber so that's pretty cool these are switchback lights uh you can tell by looking at the little lenses here or the lights inside the led lights in the housing there's amber and there's clear so these are some really nice lights um it does come with the rubber mounting pads for the lights individually and three different ways to mount them uh, these are nice thick rubber by the way so anyways i did notice that they come in four different boxes and they're labeled front and rear and i'm assuming that they're all the same minus the length of the wire on the front ones is a lot shorter obviously because the brain of the whole thing is going to be usually towards the front and the longer runs for the rears are going to be have to be longer to reach the front connectors and i did notice also that it has eight connectors for eight different lights but you only get four uh, apparently, I, th I thought I was missing some, but apparently online on the website, it says eventually they're going to come out with uh, individual kits where you can buy, order individual lights so you can add more lights to your rock kit. So you can run four different lights. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, uh, so today we're just running four. I'm thinking about mounting the harness somewhere over here. The switch, I'm going to run through a little grommet there, that little small one. I'm going to poke a hole through there, run the switch inside. And then I'm gonna mount it, the switch. I'm thinking somewhere on this kick panel here. I wanna light up the suspension more than the tire. Uh, usually these are used for off-road purposes. So whenever you do get stuck or something happens underneath, you can kind of shine uh, underneath and see what's going on if you get stuck or just debris or anything on your suspension. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to mount these lights on the uh, fender liner here and then run the wire behind it nice and neat. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mount these quick so let's go ahead and get started I don't know why Ford uses these little plastic Phillips retainers these things suck 90% oh, of the time they never come off go ahead and mount this one here uh, basically just using the light and then just poking holes to mark them and then drill in the hole for the light quick little update i mounted one in the front right here uh, i do want to be careful because there is a fuse box right above it right here so i just took a couple clips off and i just i'm just mounting the light right now to this to the actual fender light by itself i'm not using the rubber pad because that's just adding more time that i don't have right now so i'm just gonna go ahead and mount them like this in the back one when i mount that one that was pretty easy because it's the plastic liner it's not the belt fabric kind of I uh, just took off these two clips here and pulled it down, marked my holes, drilled them, and then went ahead and mounted it right here. Ran the wire down the bottom and across the frame rail here all the way to the top and to the top of the fuse box where it's with the other one. So obviously the worst part about doing any of these rock lights or anything like this is running the wire and trying to get it to some tight spots. Well, I found out this little tool here. I'll show you what this is little nifty tool uh, you pinch the bottom here and it opens up the claw and I've been using this to retrieve the wire from these crazy spots so I'm trying to run the wire from the bottom of the wheel well to the top of the engine compartment now when you're working by yourself this could be a little tricky but all I gotta do is fish this down here like so and then 
it'll be right here at the bottom. So then I can go ahead and grab my wire and pull it up. Just like that. So I got them all ran here and I got them all zip tied underneath the car. And I'm about to make my connections. I want to make a big hole, so I'm gonna go ahead and just unplug my switch, make a little slot in the grommet there. And I'll run my wires through and I'll reconnect the, the switch on the inside. So I'm gonna do that now, and then I'll tuck everything down here in the bottom, all the brain and stuff, and zip kind of tuck it away in the corner, and then I'll hook up my power source to the battery. All right, so that little hole, or that little grommet in the firewall that I was talking about. Uh, just push it through and then just cut a hole or cut a slice in it and run your wires through because it, it's going to be the tightest thing you've ever stuck your fingers in. I promise you that. One step closer, now we're making our connections. So I'm going to go ahead, grab one of our lights, grab one of the, doesn't matter exactly what end connects to what. Uh, they're all universal, but what you do want to do, you want to make sure that these prongs inside of here are not bent or twisted from you running it through the car and stuff. So make sure they're all nice and straight like this one see that little notch on top you definitely want to match it with that little notch on the connector so we're just going to go ahead and just slide these in these are going to be a nice tight fit and there is an o-ring make sure that o-ring is there that's to keep moisture and water out of the connector and we'll slide on our little nut here and make sure it's got good solid connection nice and tight and then we'll make our other three connections all right, made my connections here on the battery and just loosely negative, positive. Went ahead and reconnected the switch on the inside, on the floor. I don't want to mount anything yet because I want to make sure everything works. Let's go ahead and flip it on and see if the lights came on. That's one, two, three, and four. Cool. All right, now we can go ahead and button up all the wiring here in the corner. Mount the switch. All right, so originally I was gonna mount the switch over here next to the pedal commander, but there's a lot of bracketry and I didn't account for it. There's a lot of stuff behind it as well. So the wiring won't plug in. In the back, uh, there's not really many spots to do it where it'll look clean uh, on the back panel. Um, I could run it into the center console here and somewhere up here, but I don't like I don't have time. I have very limited time. So I'm gonna just do it right here next to the hood prop because there is, like I said, a little area here where the switch can fit and I don't have to worry about it hitting anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drill a hole here with the step hole, step drill. And hopefully, just take little by little. All right, got the switch mounted up on the bottom. It looks pretty good right there. Um, I think the size was, let me see, 13 16 was the size I used to drill the hole. 13 16 was the size for the switch. Uh, but yeah, got it good. Let's flip it on and see what they look like. Beautiful cold day today. Nice, well, it's inside the mountain here, outside of the road, because if you look up here on top, there's some um, bighorn sheep just crawling up on the side of the mountain, uh, which is pretty cool. Cool to see. It's a cold day, like I said, it's 30 degrees. The Bronco made it nicely here. 1,200 miles, we're finally here. Uh, I'll show you guys some of the highlights of the light and see what they look like at nighttime, because I am freezing my butt off. And these sheep here probably think I'm crazy. Anyways, I'll show you a little bit of the lights.
put a link down in the description if you guys are interested in picking up yourself a pair of these if you have any questions about the insole please down comments down below and i'll try to get to you guys as soon as i can but that does it for today's video guys please like please subscribe we'll see you guys on the next one